Hi, I'm Stacy Ford. Welcome to the video section of the LumenVox.com website. This video is going to go over the speech ecosystem. We're going to talk a little bit about computer telephony basics, what a platform is and what it does, and how to add speech. Computer telephony basics, in generally, incoming calls come via plain old telephone system, either digital or analog lines. They then require some additional hardware to convert the telephone signal into something the computer can understand. The other way would be via VoIP over the internet, and it requires some additional computer resources, hardware, general CPU usage. Um, handling incoming calls, whether you answer the phone, hang up on somebody, transfer the call, that is referred to as call control. Telephony platforms um, are basically software systems that do two things. They handle call control, so we were talking about transferring the call, answering the call, hanging up, those, that's call control. They also run the applications, so if you have an IVR running, that would be handled by the platform. That would be like a call router or a banking application or something that you're trying to accomplish via the telephone. It also handles PBX functionality like conference bridging or voicemail programs. We're going to show you a picture here of how this lines up. So you'll see on the left would be SIP or VoIP. And on the right, you see um, the general plain old telephone system. And then on top of that, you'll see the hardware layer. Sitting on top of that, you'll see the platform. You'll see the call control and the applications. So those will communicate with each other if necessary, but they all sit on top of either a VoIP system or a plain old telephone system. Writing telephony applications. Um, in the past, all applications and call control had to be written directly to the platform's API in some proprietary call method. Modern day platforms generally use some sort of open standard. For call control, it's called call control XML or CC XML. And for applications, we use voice XML or VXML. So it's basically the same diagram we're showing you now, except you'll see instead of call control, you'll see a CC XML browser. And instead of application, you see a VXML browser. Otherwise, the platform is sitting on top of either the VoIP system or the plain old telephone system. When you add speech to these, uh, most speech applications make use of either ASR, automatic speech recognition, also referred to as a speech engine, or text-to-speech, or TTS. Um, most of them use both in some part of the application. These are controlled at the application level. Um, you can either write directly to the API of the ASR or the TTS engine, or you can use MRCP media resource control protocol. Um, VXML um, and speech, since speech resources are controlled by the platform using either API or MRCP, they don't necessarily know about the underlying application code. So what this means to you is that speech applications will work the same, whether you write in VXML, whether you're writing directly to the platform's API, doesn't matter. These speech applications will work exactly the same. So I'm going to show you, this is both, both versions. You can eat, the one on the left shows you writing directly to the API of the platform. The one on the right shows using VXML and CCXML. You'll see that the ASR and TTS is just a layer on top. So it doesn't matter if it's written via API or MRCP. They're just a layer sitting on top. Doesn't matter what your application is written in, how it's communicating to the platform. But you'll basically see the call comes in, talks to a computer, goes through the call controller, the CCXML browser. There's an application in there or you're talking to the VXML browser, then the, the speech engine or the TTS engine just sits on top. 
it's kind of a lot to process at once. So if you have any additional questions about how the speech ecosystem works, what the different players are, what the key ingredients are, feel free to contact us at LumenVox. Um, you can reach us at support at LumenVox.com. We'd be happy to help you. We also have a lot of tips and in our resources section that can help you with understanding this in more detail. Thank you very much and hope to talk to you soon.